Hey, hey, Aida, how are you? Fine, thank you. How about you? I'm doing excellent. <laughs> excellent. Well, oh. so so because mm, quiero ver. today is Monday, Monday, Tuesday. Monday uh, on Monday, uh, I received the notice, the notice, notice mm -hmm. that I. I am um I have coronavirus. All my family and I. <laughs> really? Yes, but I'm okay. I don't have any kind of of pain or or anything. Ni fever, no nothing. Okay. <laughs> fever, no pain, nothing. Nothing. Mm -mm. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> so really, it's only what is. You have the no symptoms. Yes, no symptoms. Okay, that's good. That's excellent. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Perfect. All right. Huh. Well, anybody else? I I'm glad that you are good. Is your family safe also? Yes, my family have some symptoms, but le level level uh, but a few symptoms ah less, less, less yes okay less okay so not mm -hmm. not so difficult right no nothing okay perfect all right well we are going to get started okay today we have our first activity is we're going to talk about our routines our routines. As an example, with my partner, I'm going to use my activities. I wake up at 4.30. I do my homework from the university. Then I have breakfast and I take a shower and get ready. At six o'clock, I check on my children. Okay. Next, I go to work and I begin my first class at seven o'clock. After my first, after work, I finish at four o'clock. Next, I go to my second job from four to 8 p.m. After my second job, I go to my third job from eight to 10 p.m. Then I have dinner and I spend time with my family. I go to bed at 11 o'clock and I finish my day. It's okay, the example? Yes, it's okay. Yes? Okay. Yes. So with our partners, we are going to talk about our routines. What you do normally, okay? How is your day you, normally? You are a very active person, teacher. More or less, more or less. <laughs> I, uh -huh. <laughs> I have to be, I have a, I have to do a lot of things, but yes, I try to be active. Now we're going to hear you and your partners. What do you do? Okay. okay. So one minute and one minute for each partner. Hector, how are you? Hector, can you hear me? I don't hear you.
Okay, okay, ahorita. Ah, Sorry, okay. Oh, no, no, no problem, no problem. It's okay, Hector. Okay, it's okay. Okay. Some, when it's raining, sometimes it's difficult for the connection. Sí, teacher. Yes. Yes, yes. Don't worry. It's okay. It's normal. It's normal. Roxana, how are you? I'm fine, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. In this moment, we are we have the group, and we are talking about our routines. What do you do normally? What is your normal day? If you want, you and Hector can share. What do you normally do? In the in the morning, I take a shower. Uh, then uh, go to the work. And nine, I I take. A, okay. I have a dinner and mm -hmm. and I. I take uh, class English. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you guys very much. Great. Now we're going to do the second part. The second part is we need to focus in the third person. In the third person, we're going to talk about our partners. So for example, before my partner was Emma and I tell her my routine, and Emma told me her routine. Now my new partner is Joanna. And now I'm going to use the third person to explain Emma. So Joanna is my partner. And I tell Joanna about Emma. Emma wakes up at five o'clock. She takes a shower and gets ready. She prepares her breakfast. Then she studies English for two hours every day. Ah, you see, Anna. <laughs> <laughs> but do you understand the example? Yes. Three person. The third person, correct. Because you, the first, is the first person. But now you, in the new part, Explain the old partner. Mm, description the other, per, the first person. Yes, correct. Okay. Description of the partner. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. Teacher, ha, when, when, cuando yo digo, tome alimentos, es to breakfast, or, uh -huh, or to meals. No, and no. It's always had. Had. Ah, okay. Hi. You had, uh -huh. you had breakfast. I had. Mm -hmm. I have. I have. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Okay. Remember now. Practice the third person. Practice the third person. He, she, s, s. Okay. Everybody, let's go with our third person and practice the s. Rosa. Do you have any problem? Okay, perfect. Luis, any questions? Okay. Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. 
Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? I want you to play. Beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Okay. Any questions? No? No, teacher, for me. Okay. Good. Remember, remember that it's third person is the words with S. Teacher more. With S, right? So he, she works plays, studies, okay? Always the third person is the one with the S. Now we're gonna practice the listening and the pronunciation of questions. Here in the platform, we are in 4.6, 4 4.6. We're gonna listen and write and practice the pronunciation. Giving. Uh -huh. Remember, put the microphone on mute. That way everybody can hear clearly. Thank you. Very good. Hi, in this class, we'll practice our pronunciation. Listen to the intonation of questions of choice. Repeat the questions along the audio program. Pronunciation. Questions of choice. Listen to the intonation in questions of choice. Then practice the questions in part A of exercise three again. Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? So let's practice together, okay? Which city is bigger? Okay, then we have Bangkok. Which city is bigger? Mm -hmm. Which city is bigger? Bangkok or... Bangkok or Beirut. Correct, Beirut. Okay. Number two. Which country is the most interesting? Which country is the most interesting? Which country is the most interesting? Korea, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Brazil, or Greece? Okay, let's listen one more time to them. City, <coughs> Bangkok or Beirut? Which city is bigger, Bangkok or Beirut? Which country is the most interesting, Korea, Brazil, or Greece? Listen. We do not we do not pronounce the 
we do not say interesting. We say interesting. 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 Uh huh. That's the that's the idea. Interesting. Good. Good. Now we're going to look at numbers, and we're going to just learn how to describe distance. Teacher. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we can say interesting or interesting is good to, too. Yes, but it's not normal to say interesting. The correct is interesting. Okay, interesting uh -huh. in Inglaterra. Interesting. Uh-huh, it's normal to interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Here, let's look at a conversation about distances and measurements. Hi, I want you to play the audio program and listen to the conversation. What are they talking about? Pay close attention. Listen and practice. I'm going to Australia next year. Aren't you from Australia, Beth? Actually, I'm from New Zealand. Oh, I didn't know that. So what's it like there? Oh, it's beautiful. It has lots of farms, and it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Hmm. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland, and Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year, too. Let's take a look one more time. We have a couple of numbers. This number, if we go, is little by little. It's 3,800. 3,800. Correct. So this number is the, the same way. We begin with the number. 2,000. Correct. 1,000. 1,000. 2,000. Teacher, how do you say meters? Oh. How do you say it? meters? Meters. Meters? Here meters. is kilometers. Okay, here. Listen one more time. Meters. meters. And it's very mountainous. Really? How high are the mountains? Well, the highest one is Mount Cook. It's about 3,800 meters high. Mm. How far meters. is New Zealand from Australia? Well, I live in Auckland. Meters. And Auckland is about 2,000 kilometers from Sydney. Well, maybe I should visit you next year. You hear? Meters. 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 Kilometers. 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 Meters. Kilometers. Okay. Fine. Now, what are we going to do? With our partners, we are going to practice the conversation. Okay? And practice the conversation with our partners. If you don't have the computer, don't worry. I'm going to put the conversation into the WhatsApp. Okay? Okay. 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 It's in the WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. With our partners, we practice the conversation. One time we are going to be thought, and then the other time we're going to be. Mm. Hi. Good evening. Good evening.
Good night, teacher. Good evening, Monica. How are you? Hello. Hello, Monica. How are you? Uh, oh, it's fine. Uh, a little bit for the problems with connection. Uh, for the rain. Uh, but uh, here in the bottom line, no raining yet. Oh, okay. Uh, I think uh, raining a little bit um, in Karasusa City mm -hmm. is really is kind of near near for the borderline. Okay. So uh, uh, I have a, a little problem with the connection, but I don't know if you can hear me uh, well or not. Yes, I can hear you well, no problem. Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome, you're welcome. Mm -hmm. Everything is clear. Uh, sorry? No, I hear you clearly, no problem. Okay, thank you. Uh, and right now, I am um, in the, in que ejercicio estamos ahorita? Disculpa. Uh, 4.12, but the partners return in one moment because only okay. they are only practicing the conversation. Okay. Mm -hmm. From four, four point twelve. Twelve. Okay. Better. It's okay. Four, uh, just a little. Ah. In, in this, we are going to. Uh, we are when they return. We are going to continue with four point twelve. Okay. So don't worry, in this moment, I'm going to show you in just a second. China or Canada. Okay. Canada is okay. larger than China. Don't worry, they, here they come. Okay. All right, guys, anybody have any questions? No questions for me, teacher. Questions? Okay. Mister, is kilometers or kilometers? No, uh, kilometers. But kilometers. Kilometers, yes. But is correct. Some people say kilometers, but the Americans say kilometers. All right. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, how do you say um, mountain? You mountainous. Oh, mountainous. Mountainous. That's right. Mm -hmm. Mountainous. Mountainous. Any other words? The pronunciation of the 3800, teacher, please. No problem. So, anybody know 3800? How 3,800. 3,800. 3,800, correct. 3,800. It's okay? Okay. All right. How do you say the number in the chat? What? One thousand two hundred. Four thousand. Two thousand. Four thousand three hundred. Three hundred three. Three thousand eight hundred. No, I don't hear the call. Four thousand three hundred forty-eight. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's work on the pronunciation. Okay. So everybody repeat. Thousand. 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 Everybody repeat. Hundred. 
Hundred. Hundred. Hundred. Hundred. So Hundred. always you read the numbers. One, two, three, thousand. One, two, One, two three, three hundred. hundred. Okay. One, two, three, hundred. As an example, there is twelve. Twelve. Thousand. Twelve thousand. Very good. Ah, no, era. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good, good. Three. That's how we read the numbers. Good. Now we're going to continue. 4.12. 4.12. Questions with how. Questions with how. Listen. And then we're going to practice. Hi again. There are many questions we can ask with how. This time we'll ask questions related to distance, measurement, descriptions, and conditions. As soon as we listen to the explanation, we'll ask you some questions. Get ready. Questions with how. How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use how to ask different types of questions. We will use how this way. How plus adjective plus a verb plus complement plus question mark. Let's go back to the chart. Notice how and right after it we have far. Far is an adjective. How big. Big is an adjective. And because we use adjectives, we must use the verb be properly conjugated. How long is the Mississippi River? How is the question word? Long is the adjective. Is is the verb be in singular. Mississippi River is the complement. Ready to answer? Here we go. How big is your country? How tall are you? Which one is the longest river in your country? How long is it? As we always ask you to do, please write your responses in our discussion box. Okay, so let me explain a little bit and then we're going to practice. In the WhatsApp group, you have this. Here, we're going to practice with our partners. We're going to read the question and the answer. We want to practice making the question and we want to practice making the answer, reading the numbers, okay? So first one partner reads the question, the other partner reads the answer. Then we change, then my partner reads the question and I read the answers. To help us, let's listen one more time the correct pronunciation of the numbers. Okay, first, are there any questions? No, teacher. Okay, so let's listen one more time so that you know how to pronounce the numbers and the different symbols correctly. 1,200 miles. Questions, get ready. Questions with how? How far is New Zealand from Australia? It's about 2,000 kilometers, 1,200 miles. How big is Singapore? It's 648 square kilometers, 
250 square miles. How high is Mount Cook? It's 3,740 meters high, 12,250 feet. How deep is the Grand Canyon? It's about 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet. How long is the Mississippi River? It's about 5,970 kilometers long, 3,710 miles. How hot is Auckland in the summer? It gets up to about 23 degrees Celsius, 74 degrees Fahrenheit. How cold is it in the winter? It goes down to about 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. We will use hot. Okay. Is that okay? Are there any questions? Yes, teacher. Solo que le voy a dar en español para que me entienda mejor, por si no lo bien en inglés. Yo ya estuve contestando las preguntas de ese video y en la última, que es en cuanto a los Celsius de temperatura del de verano, ya sea del invierno, uh -huh. le he quedado en la cabeza toda la tarde la respuesta de la plataforma y no acepta ninguna respuesta. Uh -huh. Ay, con respecto a esas comparaciones que está sacando ahí. Lástima que no puedo compartirla, pero es la última de la primera prueba de esa, de esos videos. No, no, no te entendí. Es, ¿cuál, ¿Cuál número de actividades? La cuatro. Ahorita, ahorita, ahorita. De actividades. Cuatro, trece. Cuatro punto trece. Ajá. Y es la cuestión en cuanto a Washington, D.C. Ok. Okay. How hot? 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 La respuesta que puse fue how hot is Washington DC in the summer. Y no la in the, sí, así, así es correcto. How hot. Pero no la agarro. Entonces no le escribiste correcto. Una coma. Claro. Después Pero del coma, punto, sí. Una puntos. coma falta. Seguramente ajá. no les. Ajá. Algo, algo Porque he puesto how hot, is, how hot is Washington, coma, this punto. Sí, punto. No, 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 Rosa, no. Mucho punto. Es, escribirlo ahorita en el chat Te vamos a, y vamos a ver cuál es el error que hiciste. Es más fácil. Ok, ahorita vamos a comenzar. Voy a... Okay. No problem. Te ayudamos para que estemos seguros porque seguramente los otros compañeros que no han llegado allí se van a enfrentar con el mismo dificultad si no lo escriben correctamente. Ay, sí, que, que no lo, que no les pase la mía, ¿no? Por favor, toda la tarde he estado y de mí le formo. How hot is... Uh, Go ahead. You write it in the chat. What? You write it in the chat. Vaya. ¿Se fijaron que cómo decimos la temperatura? ¿Cómo decimos? Degrees. Degrees, ahí está en el chat. Degrees, everybody pronounce degree. degrees. 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 Okay. Are there any numbers? Are there any numbers? Ah, ya vi, ya vi. Tienen razón los compañeros. Se te olvidó. Ah, uh, and this thing. <laughs> Y aparte se te olvidó el símbolo de interrogación y dice... Oh, sí, no, no, allá, allá sí lo puse, aquí se me acaba de quedar porque le perdí la okay. carrera. Allá sí lo puse, entonces se dijo... Look at the, look at the no, correct... No, ahorita lo... Look okay. at the correct, Rosa. Dice... Los puntos me hacían falta. Okay. Los puntos, los puntos y Thank la coma. You go. Por lo menos. Thank you very much. Of course, of course. So now we're going to practice the, okay. Or we're going to remember, one person asked a question, the other person made the answer. Okay. Hay algún número que no está claro como pronunciarlo? Sí. 
not. No, it's okay. Okay, if no questions, let's practice. Okay, remember one person, the questions, the other person, the answers. Si no hablan, no los voy a poder ayudar a escuchar. No, no me quieres tocar a tu ¿Cómo? Ya puse cómo están los puntos y los todos y no me lo agarro a la plataforma. Ahí seguiré peleando. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. I'm going to practice. Teacher, ¿qué íbamos a hacer, teacher? Ya dijimos, Rosa, ¿qué vamos a hacer? No, nadie dice nada. Nadie dice nada. Si solo sos vos y Osmel, solo ustedes dos. Osmel, ¿qué hago? Help me. Help me. Ay, ¿Por qué help me? Si vos sabes, Rosa. Remember, one the question, one the answer. And practice the numbers. The numbers. I'm going to do the question. Uh -huh. Correct. How far is New Zealand from Australia? Uh, okay. 50 square mile. How high is Mount Cook? It is 3,740 meters high. 12,200 50 feet. 50 feet. How, how great is the Grand Canyon? It is about 1,900 meters deep. Meters deep. Yes, meters, correct. Uh, how long is the Mississippi River? Grand Canyon. It's about uh, 1,900. Okay, so more or less we have the numbers. The pronunciation era, verdad, Tisha? What, Aida? No, no, it's not me. Ah, oh, sorry. Uh, no, yes, yo Rosa? era. The, the pronunciation era, le digo, la pronunciación era. De, ¿La pronunciación era de qué, Rosa? El diálogo de lo que íbamos a estar haciendo ahí con Osmel. Ah, sí, Ajá. era, era ah, lo que estaba en el WhatsApp. Lo que estaba en el WhatsApp y yo me perdí por estar peleando con esta plataforma porque no me agarra los puntos. Según Pero, la Rosa, Rosa, <risa> okay. Rosa, es que lo estás haciendo mal. Ahí está en el WhatsApp, en el grupo de WhatsApp, otra compañera que hizo la mismita respuesta en la misma forma y lo agarró. Algo estás haciendo mal. Algo estoy haciendo mal, si yo ya me puedo hablar. Pero no te preocupes. Ahí después lo voy a hacer. Exacto. Que te Exacto. Ver, después lo haces porque cuando uno está haciendo las cosas y no le salen, más frustrado se queda y uno cree que lo está haciendo bien y a veces es un punto. Un punto, un, un espacio. Doble, un ¿Sí? doble espacio. Entonces mejor después lo borras y lo escribís despacio, tranquilamente. Ahí, ahí va a estar la plataforma, ahí va a estar el ejercicio, no se va para ningún lado. Relax. Correct. Don't stress, it's okay. Thank oh. you very much. You're welcome, Rosa, you're welcome. Relax, it's okay. It's one problem. Okay. Now, any questions about how to pronounce? 
Yo quería preguntar el pronuncio de Kerat en cuanto al, al diálogo de la, de la persona en el WhatsApp. Hay una pronunciación. Ah. Bueno, ya no sé lo... uh. Ok, ok. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en este momento? En este momento quiero todos uno por uno. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Uno por uno solo me van a decir los números, porque me interesa que los demás lo pueden leer. Es escucharlos decir el número. Por ejemplo, yo voy a decir, Osmel, and Osmel is going to say the numbers. Okay. Osmel is going to say the numbers. For example, 2,000. Right? Go ahead, and Osmel, say the numbers. 2,000 and 1,200. Okay. Continue, Osmel. All the numbers. Six, 648. Mm -hmm. 216. Mm -mm, not correct. Six. Uh -huh. Yeah, three thousand seven hundred forty. Okay. Twelve thousand two hundred two hundred fifty. Mm -mm. No. Fifty. Yeah. Man. Okay, Osmel. No problem. Stop there, Osmel. Ya vimos cuál es el problema. El problema son para los de quince y cincuenta, verdad? Ahora quince. 15. Yeah, 15, 15 is 15. 15. Uh -huh. 15. Okay, yeah. good. Aida, continue the numbers. Okay. 6,250, 6, 3,710 miles, no. 74 no, no. degrees. No, no. Okay. Oh, the logo. No, no, no. Five. It's uh -huh, five. Thousand, five thousand, mm -hmm. nine hundred seventy okay. kilometers. Mm -hmm. uh, Twenty three wait, wait. degrees Celsius. No, Aida, ah. este, lo, este lo dijiste mal también. Repeat what? Three, mm -hmm. three thousand seventy hundred ten no, miles. No, no, Aida. Three thousand. Mm -hmm. Three thousand yes. seventy hundred. No, 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 Seven. Seven hundred. Ten. 710. Okay. Continue, Aida. 23 degrees Celsius. Okay. 74 Fahrenheit. Remember, 10, 74 degrees. 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, Aida. Very good. And Neida, begin the numbers. Okay, teacher. And for example, 2,000 and 1,200. 648, 250, mm -hmm. 3,740, 12, okay. 1,250. Continue. No, that's good, Anita. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay. Rosa, okay. continue. Rosa, continue. 100. 8,000. No, no, Rosa. 9,000. No, 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 Rosa. No. What do you say? 1,000. 1,000. 900. 9,000. Right, 900. Mm -hmm. okay. ¿Cómo se dice, Rosa? One thousand. Mm -hmm. Eight hundred. Eight hundred, no. No. ¿Cómo se dice? One thousand. Nine hundred. There you go. Nine. Okay. Nine hundred. Okay. <laughs> okay. Six. Thousand mm -hmm. to two hundred fifty. Okay. Five thousand nine hundred seventy. Okay. 
3,710. Okay. 23, 74. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 23. No. 23 degrees. 23 degrees Celsius. 23 degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. 74 degrees Fahrenheit. Degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. 10 degrees Celsius. Okay. 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, good. Emma. Okay, go. Desde el inicio? Desde el inicio. Okay, 2000, 1000, eh, 1200. Okay, Emma, wait, 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 wait. Okay, tener la idea, pero me estás pronunciando la D en vez de la T. Me estás diciendo 2000. Oh, y es con TH, 1000. 1000. Okay. Vas a sacar la lengua entre medio de los dientes para hacer ese sonido. Si mantener la lengua dentro de la boca, está incorrecto. Okay. Okay. All right. Otra vez. Two thousand. Two thousand. Okay. Uh, one thousand. ¿Dónde está la lengua? Porque yo estoy buscando la lengua. Okay. One thousand. Mm. Two thousand. Thousand. Okay. One thousand two hundred. Mm -hmm. Six thousand. Mm -hmm. Six thousand. No, no, no. Es que no es mil. No es mil. Ah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> 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 six six a hundred hundred. 40, 48. Okay, 48. 48. Mm -hmm. um, 200, 100, fighting. No. Fight, fighting. No. 200, 200, 100, 50. 50. Okay, don't worry, it's okay. Joanna, yes, yes. Joanna, continue. Eh, eh, desde el inicio, sorry. No, 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 desde ahí, desde ahí, continue. Eh, one, eh, sorry, 1900, ¿verdad? Desde ahí. Correcto, correcto. Ok, uh -huh. ok, ok. Eh, eh, is, eh, one, one, eh, thousand. Uh -huh. eh, 1800. No. ¿Cómo se dice 9 en inglés? 9. Ok. ¿Y cómo se dice 100? 100. Eh, Vaya, entonces pongámoslo juntos. Ok. 100. Ok, más o menos. Vamos a ver. 1000. 1000. Vaya, continúa. 900. Correct. Okay. Uh, five, five thousand, uh, nine, nine hundred, seventy, seventy. Okay. No se te 70. olvide los números a la par también. Los números a la par. Te saltaste el de seis mil. Ah, ok. 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 Eh, 3,000. Eh, mm. 70. Eh, 700. Ajá. Uh -huh. 10. Ok. Ok. Good idea. Ok. René, desde el inicio. Ok, teacher. Uh, two thousand, mm -hmm. one one thousand two hundred okay. miles, uh, six hundred six hundred 
48 square kilometer. Okay. Uh, uh, two, 250 50 square miles. 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 Uh, 3,000. No. 800. No. 840 meters. 3,000. Yes. Uh, 7,740 7, meters. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Thank you. Reina, okay. continue. 12,250 feet. Okay. Uh, 1,900 meters deep. Meters. The meters. Uh, 6,260 feet. Mm -hmm. 5,970 kilometers long. And 300, 3,700 no, 3, meters. Miles. 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 Okay, good. Edwin, continue. Twenty three degrees Celsius. Mm -hmm. Seventy four degree Fahrenheit. Okay. Ten degrees Celsius. Sixty degrees Fahrenheit. Y Edwin, leme los primeros dos números de arriba. Two thousand, one thousand two hundred. Okay. Uh, Sixty hundred forty eight. Ese no, no, no. Repeat. Ah, oh, perdón. Uh -huh. No, no, no. O sea, de, sí lo lees, pero no, no era correcto como lo dije. Ah. Six hundred forty eight. Correct. Um. 260. Ok, thank you. Eh, como estoy compartiendo pantalla, no estoy seguro si falta alguien, alguien que necesita practicar, alguien que no lo dijo. Mi teacher, María Eugenia. Ok, María Eugenia, please. Mi, mi teacher. Ok, primero María Eugenia y después, después. ok, coger María. Ok, de 3740, ¿verdad? Yes. Ok, sería. 3,740 meters. Correct. Y 12,250 mm -hmm. feet. Okay. And then 1,900 meters deep. Okay. 6,250 feet. Okay. 5,900 mm -hmm. 70 kilometers. Thank you, Maria. Good. The next. Okay. Uh, okay. Había escuchado que era un, un, un hombre que, que faltaba. Me teacher. Okay, please, please. Desde el inicio. Uh, me, me teacher, Roxana. And Roxana, okay. Roxana, después de él, okay. Okay. Uh, todos teacher o oh. desde el principio del 2000 desde donde va el 2000 ahí ok 2000 kilómetros 1200 miles uh -huh. 648 square kilómetros uh -huh. 250 square miles ok 3700 Four mm. meters height. No. Seven, seven, sorry. 3,740 meters height. Okay. High, sorry. 1,200. Mm -hmm. 12,250 feet. Okay, 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 good, good. Uh, Roxana, siguió, o can you Yes, yes, Tisha. Okay, okay, Roxy, continue. 1,000. 800. No. Uh, uh, nine, 900. Okay, okay. <laughs> um, 6,000 
250 feet. Okay. Uh, 5,970. Okay. 3,710 miles. Okay. Uh, 23 uh, degrees. Okay. Uh, 74 degrees, 10 degrees, 50 degrees. Okay, good. ¿Hay alguien más que, que salte o alguien que falta? Me teacher. Okay, del principio, please. 2,000 kilometers. 1,000 to... 100 miles. Okay. 648 square kilometers. Kilometers. Okay. And Kilo 200, sorry? Kilometers. Kilometers. 250 square miles. Okay. 3,070 70 no 740 okay. meters and 12,000 and 250 feet okay thank you thank you Anybody else me teacher okay please continue from the beginning the 1900 Irving continue 1,900 meters deep, 6,250 feet, 5,970, 3,710, 23 degrees Celsius, 75 degrees Fahrenheit. 10 Repeat, degrees Aaron. Celsius, ¿Cuánto era? 74 degrees oh. Fahrenheit. Okay. 10 degrees Celsius, 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Thank you very much. Okay, is that everyone? Okay. This teacher. Yes. Sorry, sorry. Eh, eh, eh. Falto alguien? Nice practice. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Two thousand kilometers. Six hundred forty-eight. Equals one thousand two thousand two hundred equals two hundred fifty three thousand seven hundred forty equals twelve thousand two hundred fifty nine thousand one thousand nine hundred six thousand two two hundred fifty. Okay, that's good. Very good. Okay, I think that's everyone now, right? Yes. I think so. Okay, good, good. Very good. Excellent job. Okay. Eh, en general, todos ya, ya estamos claros con los números. Solo que hay un problema con la pronunciación de thousand. Me voy a acercar para que puedan ver bien. La lengua, ¿dónde está? Thousand. Thousand. ¿Ok? Para hacer el sonido correcto, tiene que ir en medio de los dientes. La gente va a entender, pero si lo dice de la otra forma, va a sonar thousand. Thousand. Va a sonar como de, de. Right? Pero lo que creemos que suena es como thousand. It's okay? It's okay, teacher. Okay. Sí. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Yo tenía día de no oír los números. <laughs> bueno, que, sea, que sea el bono de diciembre. ¿no? Que, que sean esos números, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. Ahora, and, ya casi nos vamos, pero antes que nos vayamos, esta semana, jueves, tenemos presentaciones orales. Le estoy diciendo para que se preparen. Tienen que hablar por dos minutos cada persona. Prepárense su presentación oral. ¿Qué va a ser la presentación? 
La presentación va a ser cualquier cuento típico salvadoreño o extranjero que usted conoce. Lo va a decir en inglés. Si usted necesita vocabulario, lo va a buscar. Va a buscar en Google, va a escuchar cómo se pronuncia, va a preparar su presentación oral. Cuando yo digo, no significa lo voy a estar escribiendo y después lo voy a leer para la clase. Lo van a decir. Este día van a activar la cámara porque vamos a ver que no están leyendo y lo están diciendo oral. Nada de trampas. ¿Okay? ¿Cómo va a ser el ejemplo? Puede ser típicos, careta chillona, la ciguanaba, el cadejo, típicos de otros países. Ok, eh, los tres cerditos y el lobo, el, 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 de, de la niña con el pelo rubio, no me acuerdo cómo se llamaba ella, con los osos. Alicia. No. de oro. Ahí. Cualquiera que ustedes quieran, cualquiera puede ser, pero... Vamos a repasar cuál es el objetivo. Tenemos que usar el pasado, lo que hemos estado hablando. Tenemos que usar las palabras, pronombres correctamente. Él o ella, he, she or it, dependiendo de qué estamos hablando. ¿Cuánto tiempo tenemos que hablar? Dos minutos. Two minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes. El que no viene es el presentación oral en el grupo de WhatsApp tiene que mandar un audio de tres minutos. Así que deciden, vienen a clase y lo hacemos de dos minutos o qué hacemos en el audio de WhatsApp. ¿Cuánto tiempo? Three minutes. Three minutes. Teacher, ¿Cuándo va a ser eso? El jueves. El jueves. Ah, ya, ya, ya va Emma, ya va Emma. ¿Cuál es la excusa, Emma? ¿Cuál es la excusa, Emma? Emma primero. No, no, eso le voy a decir. Eh, no sé, Emma, que me dejara de último porque yo, yo sé, vengo Emma. mucho. Yo sé, Emma, yo sé. Ok. Any yo pensé que le iba a decir que la dejara para el viernes porque a ella le gusta la clase de viernes. Bye. ¿Alguna pregunta de su presentación, de su trabajo extra? Los Teacher, los una pregunta. Los tiempos, los verbos, los, los verbos los podemos los escoger pasos. nosotros. O tienen que ser precisamente solo de lo que se ha estudiado. No, no puede ser el, de acuerdo al cuento que usted va a decir. Va a tener que usar los verbos y saber los verbos. Okay. 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 Teacher, o sea, que no le pasaron y se ve que has hecho solo aprenderla. No le escuché bien. No es solo de buscar como la historia, memorizarla y decirla. Solo es de buscarla y decirla en inglés, exacto. O sea, no es que nosotros vamos a hacer la historia, escribirla, no, sino que no. una historia que esté en internet, leerla, o sea, memorizarla. Sí, la vas a decir. Sí. Por, por eso les recomiendo un cuento típico, porque lo que queremos es cómo está hablando naturalmente, no cómo está hablando a la hora de leer, sino que cómo habla naturalmente. Hay que resumir la pista. Sí, la puede resumir, exacto. Teacher. Sí. Okay. Oscar, el para unirse al grupo de WhatsApp, estaba en el mismo correo de hace cuando te mandaron la información para unirte a esta clase. Ahí mismo le haces clic en el WhatsApp y te puedes unir. Si no te has unido es porque no has querido. Teacher. Teacher. Yes. I have a question. Yes. The history will be about my country or and other country? The, the, the story oh. is about any short story, any story that you want. Okay. Okay. Teacher, Other country. Mm -hmm. Teacher, by heart is the memoria. Correct, Aida. By heart. By memoria. Heart. Así que nada de estar leyendo. Vamos a ver sus ojos, a ver si lo ponen el papel detrás para que el teacher no vea y ve como que si están viendo el, la cámara, pero no, nada, nada. Ya me lo puedo todo. Así que prepárate. Teacher. Yes, I Emma. Am, it's speechless. I am speechless. Bueno, con tal jueves, you, que you have speech, estamos bien. No problem. 
Bueno, any, any other questions? Um, me. Yes, I but I don't understand the sentence. I get up. Why use the verb get? I don't understand the meaning. I get up to about two, 23 degrees Celsius. I don't understand. I get up. No, I don't understand no, I, the meaning. No, 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 I get up. It gets up. You know, no, dice it gets up. Ah, yes, it gets up. Sí. Okay. It, it gets up. Sube. Uh, it gets up. I get down, baja. Exacto, porque cuando estás yes. viendo el termómetro, sube, gets up, o baja, goes down. Para lo que yo quiera decir, que sube escaleras o baja, no sé qué, yo tengo que decir, tengo que poner get in between. No. It gets up. No, para subir. No. Es I go up. Uh, subir el volumen es it get up. No, no, subir el volumen es turn up. Uh, solo para eso, entonces ocupo get. No, lo usa para otros, pero de los ejemplos que diste, sí, solo para este. <risa> es que get up es pasado, subió, uh -huh. creo. No, es el, no, es got up, got up. Es get up, es el presente, pero con ese es presente para tercera, el he, she, it. It gets up. Mm -hmm. okay, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Bueno, busquen las palabras, prepárense. Todavía tienen hoy, tienen mañana, tienen el jueves antes de clase. Uh -huh. Esta opción solo para la clase. Hey, Oscar, bye. Entonces, Oscar, excelente que me mencionaste. Por favor, escribirle el quien te mandó el correo informándole para que estén o oh, alguien tiene el número alguien tiene a Oscar ah no porque tiene que ser por medio de link verdad sí Oscar mejor manda un correo de donde a inglés corporativo ahí debe de aparecer el, el quien te mandó eso informándole que no tenés la información del grupo de WhatsApp que lo agreguen al WhatsApp uh -huh. es que el que la cuestión es que tal vez entonces, tiene que, Oscar tiene que estar registrado para estar confirmado. Entonces, ahí que lo manden, que mande el correo para estar seguro que, que te, te tienen registrado y vas a recibir tu diploma también. Porque bien raro que te mandaron uno y no el otro. Entonces, que lo arreglen ellos para que ya esté a tiempo para finalizar todo. Sí, incluso, teacher, este, eh, me mandaron en otra vez la invitación para la clase de, de otro WhatsApp. Yo le escribí que ya estaba inscrito. Ajá, ya ves. Ya ves que por. Ah. Lo que pasa es que la otra invitación es para el nuevo módulo. Pero no hemos terminado esto. No, bueno, no sé. Pero, no, o sea, es, siempre tienen es. que inscribirse antes porque sin el límite es eh, hoy es martes, el jueves, porque si no se va a quedar sin cupo. Sí, ya mataron ah. la nueva solicitud. Uh -huh. Sí, ah, y, cree, okay. y créeme que de verdad hay mucha gente que de verdad se queda sin cupo. Okay. Yo estoy a punto de quedarme sin cupo por no vale la fecha. Gracias, doctor. Gracias. Ok. Bueno, suerte a todos. Espero que para mañana me pueden decir qué cuento van a presentar para que tomen su decisión y no lo van dejando al último momento y ya para el jueves pueden presentarlo. ¿Ok? Ok, okay teacher. Ok. Nice. Emma, te dejamos okay, ya por último, teacher. pero te vamos a dejar para el jueves. Good night. ¿Ah? Para el jueves, Emma. Teacher. Teacher, ¿qué? Nada de teacher, no el jueves. Si sigue llorando, póngala de primero. <risa> no. Ok, guys, have a good night. 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 Good